Hey guys, welcome back to the Busy Summer Bookworm Club. I hope you guys are having a fun summer so far and I hope everybody's doing well. Um, our next reading for today is Puff the Magic Dragon. This is a book that's really special to me since my dad used to read it to me all the time and he used to sing a song to me every night, it, but unfortunately I can't sing so I won't be singing the song for you guys, but I hope that you'll enjoy it just as much if we get to read it together. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flag when P Puff roared out his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One night, it happened. Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow. Green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped into his cave. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. That's it for the book. I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I did. And um, yeah, I think that's all. For this craft, you'll be making a fire breathing dragon out of a toilet paper roll. You'll need construction paper in red, orange, and one other color of your choice, a glue stick, a toilet paper roll, of course, some pom-poms and scissors. And when using scissors, make sure you have parental supervision. Step one is measuring your construction paper. To do this, I suggest taking your toilet paper roll and placing it on your construction paper like so, and then you can measure from this side how long you need it to be, and then you cut straight up this side along strip. Once you've measured your construction paper, the next step is glue. You glue the paper onto the roll by rolling it up. Next step are the eyes and nose. Sadly, I didn't have two smaller pom-poms or any googly eyes for the eyes and nose, so I'm just going to have to use what I can. All right, so you're going to take two pom-poms and glue them near the back of the tube to work as the eyes. For the nose, you would take the two smaller pom-poms and put them close together on the front, but I'm just going to draw it. Once you're done gluing down the pom-poms, glue on the googly eyes. It should look something like this when you're finished. The next step is cutting flames out of the red and orange construction paper to go in your dragon's mouth. Once you've glued in the flames, you're pretty much done. Feel free to add anything you want to your dragon and be as creative as you can. I added some horns and scales to my dragon. I hope that you guys liked this craft and I hope that you guys are having a great summer with the BSBC. See you guys next time.